Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you another fantastic game which was played between Peter Lee and Ivan Radulov. This game was played in 1965 at Student Olympiad. But before starting the game, please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for black. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Let's go back and now without further ado let's go for the game and see what happened on the board. Peter Lee opened up with e4 and e6 by Ivan Radulov. Black goes for French defense but against French white is choosing the king's Indian attack c5 knight f3, knight c6 g3, knight f6 bishop g2. Of course this is a standard setup and let's see how is black going to fight back against this scary king's indian attack rook e1 white is protecting his pawn and meanwhile black is launching an attack on the queen side the plans of both sides is obvious white will attack on the king's side and black will counter attack on the queen's side a5 knight f1 a standard id in king's indian attack h5 later white is bringing his knight on g4 b4 we have h6 g6 with his pawn push white managed to weaken the dark squares of black's king's side and let's see how will white manage to exploit those weaknesses b3 Bishop a6, queen d2, rook c8, knight h2, knight a7, black is preparing c4 and we have bishop g5. By offering an exchange of dark squared bishops, white will make black's king side vulnerable, knight b5, queen f4, rook c7, knight g4 and knight d4, which is a mistake and allows white to gain advantage. It was better to capture on g5 and then play queen e7 and then think about the counter attack on the queen side. But in our game after knight g4 we have knight d4. Here Peter Lee captured on e7 and in return black captured the knight on f3 and announced a check. But actually queen takes e7 could have been better. Although after knight takes d4, c takes d4, here white has two choices, can either simply capture the pawn on d4 or can go for this bishop takes d5 sacrifice, a similar sacrifice by the way we will see in our main line. In our game after bishop takes e7 we have knight takes f3 check, bishop takes f3, queen takes e7 and bishop takes d5. A beautiful sacrifice and now let's see. What is white planning to do after e takes d5? e takes d5 is on the board and we have e6, there are two hanging pieces, at some point white can capture on f7 and yes this is a very problematic position for black. Knight b6 was played and now you can pause the video and try to find white's next moves. Ready? Well, according to the engine in here, knight f6 check is the strongest continuation. If king h8, then knight d7 is very beautiful. If knight takes d7, then white can recapture with the pawn. And if queen d8, then white can go for this rook e8 move. If rook takes e8, then this time queen f6 check is very beautiful. This is simply an astounding line. If queen takes f6 then white can go for an under promotion, as for me I prefer an under promotion and can announce a checkmate. But in our game after knight b6 Peter Lee chose another beautiful line and captured on c7 with the queen. Look at this guys, black accepted the sacrifice and we have knight f6 check king h8 and e7. And actually yes black's position is totally lost. This pawn on h6 is creating too many problems for black king. Look at this. There is a back rank weakness and black is in trouble. Queen b8 a desperate attempt although all other continuations were also losing if rook e8 simply knight takes e8 and this pawn is unstoppable. After e7 black played queen b8 and e takes f8 queen although promoting the pawn to a bishop is equally strong the threat is Bishop g7 checkmate and black is forced to recapture but in our game we have e takes f8 queen queen takes f8 and rook e8 black is losing his queen and the end game is hopeless for black and now let's see how is white going to realize his advantage knight takes d5 
another beautiful tactical shot again white is using the vulnerability of the eighth rank knight d6 this time we have knight f4 knight b5 and this time we have rook e5 although white could also capture on e6 knight c3 rook takes c5 king g8 rook takes c3 yes white is simplifying the position because the pawn end game is an easy win king f3 and finally we have a resignation with two extra pawns and this mighty passed pawn on b5 this is going to be an easy win that's why black resigned a very beautiful game i think that queen takes c7 sacrifice was simply astounding and i hope that you enjoyed this game greatly thanks for watching for more games consider subscribing to my channel also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads i will see you in my next video good luck